If a car has a suspension system with a force constant of 5 times 10 to the 4 newtons per meter, how much energy must the car's shocks remove to dampen an oscillation starting with a maximum displacement of 0 0.075 meters? All right, so basically we have to relate here, right, displacement and force constant to some type of energy. Now this is actually fairly straightforward, right? If you notice the formula over here on the right side, it tells us that the potential energy, the elastic potential energy or the potential energy inherent in the spring is equal to then one half multiplied by the force constant multiplied by its displacement from equilibrium squared. So that being the case, I know that the uh, potential energy that is inherent in the spring right now, the maximum potential energy I should say, is going to equal then one half times the force constant, which was five times 10 to the fourth, times then the maximum displacement from equilibrium. Okay? So I know it doesn't say, right? It's, you're, you might be reading, and say, where did it say equilibrium, displacement from equilibrium? Well, I have to make that assumption. Otherwise, maximum displacement from where? Right? It, it, I have to make that assumption. Otherwise, I can't calculate it. So, because I'll be, I'm not certain then displacement from what? So the easiest set of assumptions there to assume that it is displaced from equilibrium. And therefore now, I can simply just calculate this, that the 0.5 times 5 times 10 to the fourth times then 0 0.075 squared, that's going to be about 141, considering rounding 141 joules. Now this is the maximum potential energy that is inherent in that spring, okay? And therefore, to dampen such oscillation, right, that means that we must remove this amount of energy, right, from the springs, basically, or from the, from the shocks, right, which are springs. So this answer is not only the potential energy, maximum potential energy that's inherent in the spring, it's also the maximum energy that has to be dissipated if the oscillation were to stop. All right, hopefully that makes sense, right? Equivalence of energy there. So guys, thanks so much for tuning in. Please remember to help us out and subscribe, and we look forward to helping you with more problems. Take care.